In this video, I will show you eight ways to become a better Webflow designer. I always find that question a little weird because what actually is a Webflow designer? But I think what the question's really getting at is how can I, in a short amount of time, get really, really good at building websites in Webflow? So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I improve my Webflow skills. Let's get into it. Number one, purchase a course. Ron Segal has a course with Flux Academy. Joseph Berry has a course coming out. There are lots of courses out there and there are probably gonna be a lot more courses popping up as we go along. Number two, watch Webflow University on the Webflow website or on the Webflow YouTube channel. They've got a lot of tactical videos to help improve your Webflow game. Number three, watch follow along videos on YouTube. Again, there are more and more of these popping up as we go along. Ron Segal has some, Timothy Rick has got some great ones. Basically, you sit and you watch other Webflow pros develop out websites in Webflow, and you can learn from them as they go along. Number four, copy current websites. Yes, you heard me correctly. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go on Lapa.ninja or Web Design Inspiration or Awards or wherever it is you like to find cool websites, and you are going to develop them pixel for pixel. You're not doing this for clients, you're just doing this for practice and for yourself, but basically you're just gonna do this over and over and over again to help improve your website flow confidence so that when you see a design that you like, you're confident that you're going to be able to develop it in Webflow. Number five, redesign current websites from companies. This is a little bit different in that the last one, where you're more focused on your development skills. For this one, you're more focused on your design skills. So once you're confident with what you can develop, now what you're going to do is you're going to find a current company that's got a website that's mediocre, or subpar, you could maybe improve it a little bit. You're going to redesign it and then you're going to go back and develop it into Webflow and you're gonna keep doing this over and over again. Start with an easy website, keep it simple, and then you can move on to doing more advanced things on these websites. Number six, watch pro designers critique other websites. Go on YouTube and search for web design critiques. Jesse Showalter has a show. FinSuite also has a show that launched pretty recently on Thursdays where they go in and they critique other websites. It's called Critique. I have a video that I just posted, Web Designer Reacts. Again, Ron Segal. Um, from Flux Academy has some web design react videos. Just go on YouTube and see what the pros have to say about current web designs and you're gonna take in a lot of knowledge from that. Number seven, ask other designers for critiques. When I first built my website for Digital Red Panther, I posted it on Reddit. Oh my goodness, it got shredded to pieces. But I am so thankful that there were other web designers out there who are willing to give me honest feedback. Yeah, there are probably a lot of them who enjoy ripping other websites apart, but it doesn't matter because I got exactly what I needed. That web design that I created stunk. It was terrible. I needed honest feedback, and if you get honest feedback, it might hurt a little bit, but trust me, it will help you out in the future, and it's going to help you become a really, really good Good designer and developer. Number eight, never stop improving. I always thought like, man, once I get to this level right here, I am going to be a pro. There's never a level you should get at where you're happy with. You should always be improving because the moment you think you're done, the moment you think you're there, other people are going to start passing you and you're going to fall behind with the technology and the way things are in the internet. So those were the eight ways. I promised you I would share with you the two ways that I use to improve my web design skills and those were ways four and five. In all honesty, I didn't purchase courses and I didn't really find the Webflow University to be very helpful. What I did was I copied current websites and just developed a ton of websites over and over and over and over again. I found current websites and I basically redesigned them, but I got results out of it because I got better at designing and developing. And once I got really, really comfortable in Webflow, my designs improved because I wasn't scared like, oh, I don't want to put this fancy graphic here because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to develop it. No, I can develop just about anything on the front end at this point. So I'm not scared to go with crazy designs right now. That's all I've got. I hope these helped. We'll see you in the next video.